Because I want to change bits, I'm going to tell it to go back to that zero, zero, zero point. So I'm going to tell this over here to move back to zero, zero, zero. So that one I tell it. All right. Now, now we can change bits on it. I'm going to put it back in the jog mode. I'm going to raise up my uh, X. You mean your Z? My Z, I'm sorry. Now if I put it on fast, it raise up faster. Just so we can change the bits. <coughs> this just makes it easier to re-zero it. Because all I have to do is bring it back down until my, my piece touches. My zero, zero, zero is no longer the same as zero, zero, zero was before. Now with this bit on it. So, somebody hold a piece of paper here and slide this in and out. That's, uh, just barely touches as I bring this thing down. Right? I'm going to bring it down slowly. Not much of that code, you didn't have to do much. So we'll turn it back on. We'll show it to go around that. The first time it's not going to hit anything because it sits itself in the air. It sits it's cutting down, remember? So it's got that tip down. Right? So it comes down, goes around, and it drops down one more time. change bits, you got to load a different part of the code for each, each part of the code goes for each bit you want to run. Where's all those codes at? Is it on the screen? Uh, yeah, in fact, I don't know if anybody was watching this thing. <coughs> this, all these things here run as it's going. It tells you right on the screen each X, Y, and Z spot that that thing is at all the time as it's running through there. I'm going to change bits, change pieces of wood, and show you something else. 
That's been actually been, been pocket carving. Now I'm going to put in a 90 degree V bit, and we're actually going to do some V carving. 